Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm going to do a review on the new episode of Trinity 7, which is on episode 5. Now, I know some of y'all might be kind of upset about me not being there yesterday. Well, I'm sorry for not being there yesterday, because there was nothing much or no anime that of mine that I was watching did not come out subbed or something, you know? And I know it's really ridiculous for me to, like, be gone for one day, but hey, man, it is what it is. And I know this review is very late, and I apologize for that. And I got a lot of things to, like, um, catch up on. Like, I um, need to go check out my brother's channel, because I know, like, for a fact, I've been out <laughs> for a while after, like, focusing on school, you know? So, if anything else, I'd like to get started right away. After the opening, we have some strange... O you see, before the opening, we have, like, Arata having, like, um... Let's see here. Um, how am I supposed to say it? Uh, two characters, I'm pretty sure... And Two characters on his dang bed, which is Ayn and Yui or something. And after the opening, there's some stupid pervertedness about P.E. here and there, you know, nothing much happening. Um, just the same old cliche stereotype I've been seeing. We enter Yui's dream whatsoever, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, um, Yui gives him a kiss on the cheek before the, she ends the dream. And then there's been some crazy stuff going on here and there. And I think... Mira and then her Akio end up talking for a bit, you know, that's about it, and by that time, like, um, there's been some incident that involves the school, and I see some girl, like, breaking the glass, you know, and Yui seems to be afraid of ghosts or something while the ninja keeps explaining, you know, and other things, and stuff, you know, and by that time, they decide to go check this out in the library, um, let me see here, out the Irene, Yui and then the ninja girl or something, you know, <laughs> decided to go, like, um, take a look at this thing, you know, Levy, I believe, I think her name's Levy, let me take a look, um, yeah, her name's Levy, and later, after a couple minutes, they end up being transported to some kind of crazy stuff, and some new, some new Goldilocks chick appears to us, appears, and starts, decides to steal some magic, you know, and says, like, something about, like, Demon Lock Candidate being inhuman whatsoever, and, yeah, nothing much gone down as I, as I remember it exactly, you know, and then she absorbs her sister's magic, which is, um, the girl with the camera, um, what's her name? I forgot, uh, where is she, um, Sel Selena or something, and, her twin sister is Sherlock Lezalet, and she ends up having these demon wings whatsoever that Arata had, and that's about it. Well, I gotta say, like, um, this episode wasn't much, you know, I mean, like, um, just being honest, I mean, a lot of things take me off here and there, made me, made me smile and laugh for a bit, but eh, it is what it is, you know, um, don't be surprised if this reveal comes in short. There's nothing much I can talk about, but maybe that ending right there with the new character, and... Something that involves ghosts around the school, you know, and that's, uh, that's about it. Um, so if anything else, I'll end it right here, you know. I got, I got one more episode that I, that I need to review and then post up because I know, I know it's very late. So if anything else, have a good day and I'll see you all in my next video, right? Later, peace out, bye-bye.